Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus, here with another Magic 2014 Let's Play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had just defeated my very first planeswalker, Chandra, Chandra Nalar, Nalar, and now I've just started to work, I'm, I'm about to start work, working my way through um, uh, Magic, Magic 2014's campaign. So before I can take on my next planeswalker, I've got four smaller jewels to take on, with the first one being some Moreland Zombies, so it sounds like it might be from my limited knowledge of ma Magic 2014. Of Magic the Gathering sounds like it could be a black deck. So uh, let's click on this uh, this this encounter and see what I've got. So I've got the choice of two decks now. I've got my green deck and I've got my red deck. So because I've just unlocked this one, I'm going to give this red deck a go. So uh, let's start the encounter and see how it goes. So what, what kind of hand what kind of hand have I got here? So I've got a couple of decent monsters. Got a decent artifact that I can play. Um, but I haven't really got any monsters I can summon early on, so let's just draw a new hand and see what I get. Not really many land cards in this one, so let's draw again. Again, not many land cards. Uh, what I really want is a couple of land cards and a uh, couple... Am I getting less and less cards every time here? <laughs> I did not realise that. Um, let's restart this duel. <laughs> yes. I, did, I didn't actually realise that um, drawing um, a new hand actually... Um, meant you draw less and less cards every time, so that's something that I've uh, now realised. Um, this one look okay? I think this one looks okay. Yeah, I've got something I can play early on, so uh, I'll keep this hand. Give this one a go. Let's check down a land card to start off with. Let's see what my opponent does. Oh, let's continue. It's <laughs> always a good idea. Uh, do I want to play? No, I'm going to keep that Pillar of Flame for a second, because I want to see what he draws first. See what kind of monsters he comes up with, because I don't really want to. Because uh, it does a couple of damage, so if he draws a sort of a fairly weak monster, I could take it out straight away. I don't really want to just take some health off of him. So what we got here a Disregaf Ghoul. Um, so no special effects. Does two two. So there's a reason I save this is because that means I can take it out on my next turn. Why is it tapped straight away? I didn't think it had any special abilities. Oh right, Disregaf Ghoul enters the battlefield tap. So. Why? I'm sure I just read that. Yeah, so it can't defend straight away, which is uh, unfortunate for it. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm about to take it out. Sorry, Disregard Ghoul. You are no more. I don't want you attacking me on your next turn, funnily enough. Before I can get out a monster of my own. See, so throw down a fairly typical land card. Ah, what's he playing now? Walking Corpse. So this one has no particular um, special abilities by the looks of things. Again, 2-2. Two, two. Um, so yeah, that one's not, not, not something to worry about too much. But he's on the field. Hopefully I can uh, get a monster out this turn. Oh good, more land. I like that. Uh, tips, haste. Uh, yeah, don't show that again. So haste basically means I can attack straight away if I want to. Uh, he would be able to defend, however. Whenever an opponent is dealt damage by a red or an instant or sorcery spell you control, or by a red planeswalker you control, return Chandra's Phoenix from your graveyard to hand. That's pretty cool. So if I do any damage and it goes to the graveyard, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play this card. I can't attack. I, I could attack. I could attack with it now, but all it would really do would be to take out my opponent's card there. Um, yeah, let's let's attack. I'll take out his card because um, as soon as I deal some damage, I can always bring it back to my hand, which is quite cool. Oh, apparently he chose not to defend, but that does mean that now he can attack me. So swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. Really, we we could either both be on twenty health, or we could both be on eighteen health. Never mind. So I can't do bubbly bubbly squat about that. So and I should say now, I don't think. No, I he 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 cut no. The reason he didn't defend is because that's a flying creature, of course, and he can't defend against flying creatures because he's not a flying creature himself. So let's throw down some more land. Can I summon anything? Um, no, apparently not. That needs five magic. That needs six magic, so looks like I'm not going to be able to summon my elemental till next turn. So I may as well attack, do some damage to him, and then he'll probably do some damage to me too. Let's get him down to 16 health. What's he going to do now? He's going to attack me, of course he is. See how this goes. There we go. 
as per as per expected. We're down to 16 health as well. Still pretty even between me and the zombie. Ah, so let's throw down some mana, and then let's throw down a fire elemental. Does that have anything special on it? Sacrifice. Blood pyre elemental deals four damage to target. Four damage to target creature. Activate this ability any time you could cast sorcery. So if I want to sacrifice him, I could sacrifice him now. So do I want to activate it? Um, he's basically. I'm either got to got to defend against him next turn, in which case he'll be taken out, or I can take him out now. So he can't do any damage to me. So uh, I think I think I'll just attack him now. I just attack with all. So I think that was a fairly worthwhile attack. Uh, use of his special ability there. Because either way, he was going to get killed, preventing him from attacking me. So I may as well just get him out of the way all of a sudden. And not risk him playing any magic cards, which might be able to stop him doing me doing so. So he's down to 14 health. I've got the advantage for now. So what's this one? Endless Ranks of the Dead. At the beginning of your upkeep, put X22 Black Zombie Creature Tokens onto the battlefield, where X is half the number of zombies you control rounded down. So... That's basic. That's an art. That's an enchantment which will sit here. Basically, it means that if he's got, say, two zombies on the field, he can then summon a two-two zombie creature alongside them. But because he's got nothing on the field, it won't actually do anything for now. So, a bit of a waste of a card. But I suppose it's for later on if he actually manages to get that many creatures out. So let's throw down a card for me and get me a second creature out. So I've got two flying creatures now, so he'd basically have to have two two flying monsters to attack, unless he's got a um, a creature with reach, which would then be able to defend. So I'm going to do two more damage to him. Marvelous, marvelous. We're doing well here, guys. We're doing well here. He's down to 12 health. So yeah, that didn't do anything because he's got no zombies on the field. He's going to just chuck, chuck down some more land. What's he summoned here? Ghoul Razor. When Ghoul Razor enters the battlefield, return a zombie card at your at random from your graveyard to your hand. Fair enough. So he gets to choose any any card, any zombie card from his graveyard and put it back in his hand. So he's got four cards in his hand now. So he's put that particular zombie card back in his hand, which he's now going to summon as well, because why the hell not? He's got the mana to do so. Neither of his cards can defend against my cards, but then again, none of, I think my cards might be able to defend against his cards. So let's chuck down another land. I've got seven at the moment. This is a good one. Um, so what, so this is similar to the green one I had. I think I played it in the, in the game, or it might have been in my warm-up games. I can't remember. But basically, whenever whenever I do any magic or damage, to when it's a, basically whenever I cast a red spell or or I play down a land even, uh, I gain extra life, which is quite cool. So uh, oh, I probably should have played that one first before summoning my land, but never mind. Um, do I want to throw this one down? Yeah, may as well to defend against these two because uh, I don't want them doing uh, any extra damage to me. I think that game, yes, that did. So playing that creature did give me an extra health, which is quite cool. So I may as well attack with all. He can't defend against my attacks, so uh, well, hey, I'm about to do five damage to him, getting down to seven health. Marvelous. That's what I like to see. Me doing pretty well. So yeah, these these guys aren't anywhere near as difficult to play against as the planeswalker planeswalkers. I feel um, they they seem to be a little bit little bit more uh, easy to deal with. Although he does now have three car three monsters on the field to my well to my three, so I should hopefully be able to block with this bad boy against. Um, which one do I want to defend against? Um, I don't think it really matters. They're pretty identical. So I must just block really either one of them. Either way, he's going to do two two damage to me. He can't um, attack because he's got summoning sickness. And there we go. I only taken only taken two damage this particular turn. Fantastic. So what's he, what's he playing now? Rotting Legion enters the battlefield tapped. Oh my god, that's a pretty that's a pretty powerful card. Five five depend five defense and four attack. It's not a bad card. At all. And what do I get? I get Zombie Arsonist. Great. Might as well chuck it down to defend against his uh, him next turn. I do get a bit of health back from playing him though. I will do 5 damage to him. I don't think he's going to be able to take me out this turn, even if he does attack with all his monsters. So uh, hopefully over the next couple of turns I should be able to take him out. Which should be good. So there's Chandra's Phoenix dealing 2 damage. And then we should have Scargon Firebird also. Yeah, both of these cards are basically Phoenix cards, which means that if they get destroyed, I can pay a certain amount of mana to bring them back from the graveyard to my hand, allowing me to resummon them. So they're pretty good cards. 
He's throwing down more land. He's up to eight now. It's a pretty good amount of mana. <laughs> so who do I want to block against? Let's block against this guy, considering he's doing the most damage. He doesn't. I'm fairly sure he doesn't have trample, which would basically means that he would then do any extra damage that he would have that he does on top of the damage to my monster to my health. So I may as well defend against the person with the most amount of attack points. There we are. Take stop this rotting legion from doing any damage to me. You uh, you did good and because he um, one of his special abilities is basically when he di when he dies I can deal one one damage to any monster or player so I may as well just do it to the player. I think I'm I think I've effectively won this turn anyway because he can't defend against any of my creatures. Oh, <laughs> what's this? And he's dead anyway because that pillar of flame does two damage to any target creature or player. So I may as well attack the player and win the game. There we are. They're the Moorland Zombies dealt with. That's nice and simple, I think. Lavrax, got a new card. Lavrax deals 5 damage to target player. Pretty cool. If I go into my deck manager, uh, click on this deck. If I, can I do deck manager there? Um, an instant collection. Yeah, okay. So, um, I've got the foil deck, which basically means you can. that's a premium thing where all your cards are shiny, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I can also unlock the foil deck by paying for it as well. Or I could just unlock it, because, you know, that's part of the fun of the game. So, um, 63 cards in deck. That's what have I got here. All oh, right, so this is this is how much land I've got. This is how much land I've got in. So I think I had, uh, I think I had about 26, 27 in there. Uh, what, else, what else can I do? Um, where are the cards that aren't in here? So I've got 28 locked. Do they just go straight into my deck? I think they must just go straight into my... I think they must just go straight into my deck. I'm not entirely sure how many cards I can have total. Is that Fire Axe in my deck now? So that, that, these, are, these, are, these are the lock cards that I can basically unlock as I, as I, battle, as I battle people. So I've got some uh, pretty cool looking cards I think in there. Yeah. Um, I think I, I think that must that card. Oh, I've already got a couple of lava axes in here anyway, so uh, I just haven't seen that. Yeah, save and quit. Um, where was I? I was in the campaign. I want to do a possible. Yeah, okay, shut up. So uh, I think I've still got time to record a second encounter. Let's take on some of these Skurzdag cultists. I'm not entirely sure what color these guys are going to be, but uh, yeah, I think I might use a. Uh, Use my green deck this time, because uh, I might switch between the two so I can unlock some cool new cards for each of them. So let's start the encounter and see how we go this time. So how's this hand looking? A couple of land. Uh, he's a pretty good card. Got Trample, which is quite cool. Spider, Gloom Widow. He's got Reach, so he can attack flying creatures. Um, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good monster. Can give plus, uh, plus three, plus three to one of my creatures. Um, oh, that's pretty good. It destroys any creatures. So, yeah, I think I'll keep that hand. Hopefully, I'll draw some lands pretty quickly. Although, uh, knowing, knowing, knowing the uh, card gods, I will uh, get bubbly squat quite quickly. So, let's, this is looking like a black deck again. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if all these encounters here are going to be black decks leading up to the final planeswalker, who will be a black black deck, which I can then unlock. A deck can have any number of cards named Shadowborn Apostle. Fair enough. Sacrifice six creatures named Shadowborn Apostle. Search your library for a demon creature card. That sounds pretty badass. So if she gets enough of them onto the field, then uh, they can then sacrifice it for, like, by the sense of thing, an uber powerful monster. Let's just throw down a land card. What do I get there? I got a Colonian Tusker. So once I get this second mana card down, I should have a couple of creatures which I should be able to summon. I've actually got three cre Oh no, just two creatures I can summon and uh, require three mana to. Uh, summon some more so she's going to attack me basically because I've got nothing to block with right now until I get uh, one of my monsters on the field so am I down to what oh, yes I'm down to 19 health of course I am so what's here then so she's got another 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 apostle so I've basically got to stop her getting as many of these on the field as possible I want to try and stop getting six but now she's got three already this is not good I'm, I'm starting to panic a little bit already what's she gonna do so let's throw down a mana. Let's get one of my creatures down. Um, yeah, let's get the tram. No, let's get you down because then I can defend against these two cards if they try and attack me on the next turn. Because he's he's got three health, which basically means that one and one can't. One and one can't. Oh, great! I can defend against two of these then. <laughs> well, actually, saying that, I can only defend against one of them. I think so. They're going to do a little bit of damage to me this turn. 
Yeah, any any number of creatures can block, but only one creature can block against one other creature, so... Oh man, they've got four of them on the field already. This is not good. They're only two away from getting six. We've got five! Oh god, this this is uh, this is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit sketch. And they didn't actually attack me, so uh, I've got no mana on the field, so let's get one of you down. And we may as well attack, because I think I might be alright. Let's attack with all and see... Oh. Mm, do I want to attack? Yeah, I want to attack, because even if it requires three of them to defend against me, it's then going to mean three less of them to get towards this summoning of this demon creature that it's talking about. Although apparently uh, they're choosing not to defend. Of course they're not, because that would basically mean that they're one... They're only one, sh one shy of actually uh, getting this super powerful demon, so uh, this has got me a little bit worried already. Please don't say they've got any more in their hand. Oh, of course, of course they happen to have one last cultist in their hand so they can summon this redonkulously powerful demon. How powerful is this demon going to be? Oh god. Shadowborn demon. When Shadowborn demon enters the battlefield, destroy tar target non-demon creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are fewer than six creature cards in your grave graveyard, sacrifice a creature. Haha, <laughs> so hopefully... Um, Oh right, so it has got six creature cards in the uh, in, in the graveyard because they use six six creature cards to get there in the first place. Oh thank God for that! Let's throw down let's throw down a land. Um, right, target creature control. F uh, no, I don't want that. Oh, no, I've got one two one two fewer magic, which basically means that. Um, so what I am going to do is throw down this guy. Um, just throw down this enchantment because it'll give me plus three plus three, which basically means that I'll then be able to attack this bad boy and take it on. If it, if it chooses to defend, of course. Is he going to block? No, apparently not. So I'm going to do six damage to this guy. I am, gonna, I, I am however, going to use this card to defend against him uh, in the next turn. For, is that still got my enchantment on it? Oh no, he's tapped. Damn, he's going he's gonna to take five, six, five health off me. Great. I didn't really think of that. <laughs> he's tapped, of course he is. I can't defend. Arse. So I'm down to 14 health, uh, fantastic. So he, they're, they're, he's already working towards uh, getting another one of these uh, uber powerful demons. Now what can I summon here? What have I got? Got this guy that does tramble. Uh, another 3-3. Three, three. Oh, is that uh, enchantment permanent then? I thought it was any... Ah, awesome. I didn't realise that was permanent. That's actually pretty awesome. What else have I got? Um, target creature you control fights. Hmm. Actually, that's, that's a genius idea, because he can only do 5 damage to my 6, but I do 6 damage to his 5. Yes, that was an awesome card. I am well on my way to winning this battle now. Let's throw down another one of you, because you do 3-3. Three, three. Although you also do 3-3, three, three, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, this card's working for me so far. Now, I'm not going to risk... I'm going to skip that attack, because if that if they choose to defend against that one, that, one's, that card's going to die, so I don't really want to risk that. I'd rather just take one... I can defend against that one, so uh, I'm not really too worried about that. So they're going to try and throw down as many more of these sort of occultists as possible to uh, summon another one of these demons, although I'm looking pretty pretty dandy right now with uh, my three creatures on the field now. So I should do nine damage this turn, because I can attack with these two cards. So attack with all. So even if they defend, um, which I'm fairly sure they probably won't, because... Oh no, they are going to defend, so I've taken out two of his cards. Oh dear, never mind you. You're not going to get one of those demons on the on the field again. Take out the apostles. I don't want another one of those demons on the field again. Never mind, mate. Never mind. Well, not really, mate. It's a group of people. Group of nut jobs. Yes, so trying to get more Shadowborn apostles. Apparently, they just can summon those out of their asses. So what have I got here? Ah, this was a new card that I unlocked uh, at the end. Uh, so what does this one do? Beginning of your upkeep, put a 2-2 two -two green wolf creature token on the battlefield. That's pretty cool. So this is the kind of card that um, can just summon like loads of loads of token monsters onto the field, which is pretty cool. And tap all untapped wolf creatures you control. Each wolf tap this way deals damage equal. That's, that's pretty cool as well. I'm liking that card. Um, what do I want to get on the field? Yeah, let's get one. Of, let's get another one of these on the field. Apparently, I've got loads of these Tusker things. I've got no special abilities, but they're just pretty powerful cards for very, very little mana. And I've actually managed to make do with a uh, absolute bugger all mana this game. 
I might even possibly win this, although I'm not entirely sure about... Yeah, they're defending it. It's my most powerful one. Of course it is. But I should do six damage, so uh should win on the next turn. I've somehow managed to win this game with only three mana. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's, his, uh, that's another Apostle taken out. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting the hang of this game, although then again these are the easy encounters compared to the plain, Planeswalker encounters, which are slightly more difficult from I get the feeling of. Ah, well, does this, re does this really matter this turn? I might as well just throw down a card because I don't really need to summon any sort of particular magic cards or anything like that. I'm about to attack with all and this will probably take him out this turn because I'm attacking with four different creatures who are all doing more than enough damage to take him out. Just why even bother trying to defend against the most powerful one? You're about to fail. There we go. Gloom Widow's finished it off for me. And finally my Colonial Tusker is just rubbing salt into the wounds. Like it should. And take him out of Shadow Apostle, because why the hell not? There we go. Secret Nimbus wins. That's what I'd like to see. So I unlocked a card. Uh, when Wormskin Forager enters the battlefield, distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two or three target creatures. That's pretty badass. So I can just sort of buff, uh, I could possibly even like buff that creature to like 5-5, um, five, five, which is pretty awesome. So if, uh, let's hit, head back to the campaign menu. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching everybody. Please comment my videos to let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I do differently. If you like what you saw, please like, possibly even favorite my videos. Uh, and if you want to see more of my content in the future, please don't hesitate to hit subscribe. Again, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>